Now it's time for the pledge. Please stand and face your classroom flag. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. Good afternoon, Baker. Today we're going to quickly run through the announcements. I am Quinn Man, by the way, on Superhero Day. Uh, remember me from the orientation. Uh, Super Schmidt and I showed you how to create a wonderful Weebly, uh, a BOP, Baker Online Portfolio. Well, I'm going to quickly run through the announcements today because there are a lot of important announcements. And then I'm going to give you some time to make a blog post about the year so far. We are one quarter of the, year, of the way through the year. So it's time for a blog post. First announcement is Spirit Week. As you can see on Superhero Day, the 8th graders came in first, 7th graders came in second, 6th graders came in third, and the staff came in fourth. So that means tomorrow is Color War Day. And right above me, you can see the titles of what colors you should wear. At the game last night, teams earned some more points. Actually, 8th and 7th graders ended up with first place four. Staff was in third and 6th graders in fourth. And then you see the overall totals. 8th graders currently hold the lead. 7th graders are second, 6th graders third, and staff fourth. Basketball tryouts are coming up next week. Make sure you get your physical. 7th graders start on Tuesday, 8th graders on Wednesday. Make sure you come outside Lab 103 or Mr. Lenaway's room upstairs. Get your paperwork and sign up on the sign-up sheet. In other news, remember Blue Lakes Arts Camp auditions are coming November 14th. Mr. Harnish wants to tell you that there is a debate club meeting tomorrow morning in room 211 at 7.30 a.m. Tell the good people of Metropolis that if they have any questions, see Mr. Harnish. Ms. Gallio and Ms. Locke want to tell you that there is a Club Create meeting today in the Media Center after school. If you would like to join, please stop by room 116 to get a permission slip. It's not too late. Mr. McIntosh wants to remind all current 7th graders that next year's 8th grade trip for Baker will be to Washington, D.C. If you're interested in learning more about the trip, including dates, attractions, price, etc., please have a parent come to the information meeting this Wednesday, that's tonight, November 2nd, from 6 to 7 p.m. in the cafeteria. The travel company will be there and the schedule and fundraising options. Any questions, see Mr. McIntosh in room 207. Attention all boys interested in playing IM basketball. By the end of the week, there will be two forms outside of room 205 that you need to pick up. Our first practice is Tuesday, November 29th. You must turn in a permission slip, pay to play form, and a receipt showing you paid the $50 club fee to misuse in room 205. If you have already paid the club fee, you need to fill out the pay to play form again and turn in your permission slip. Lunch for tomorrow, the last day of the week because Friday is off, is build it your way, breakfast bowl and cubed breakfast potatoes and a biscuit. Bobcats, notice that I am in the Bop Cave here. And what I would like you to do now that the announcements are done is to go to your iPad, open up your Weebly app, and then click the little blog button, uh, the little dialog box. And I would like you to blog about what you have done through a quarter of the year. Your favorite class, the class that you need to work a little bit harder on. Remember, we set goals at orientation. Are you on your way to accomplishing that goal? Or did you forget what it is? If so, maybe you should put it down in your me page. Blog about what's going on so far. Uh, what are your grades? How has school been so far? You can even blog about how cool Quinn Man is if you want. Your opinions, your reflections. Uh, we haven't done it in a while, so let's make sure, instead of playing a video today, why don't you take the last five minutes of this class period, and blog about your school year so far. If that's not enough time, which it probably won't be, uh, remember, you can blog at any time. It's always good to reflect on your learning. And that is my message from the Bop Cave on Weebly Wednesday, and I will see you soon. What in the world is that, Robin? Uh, I will see you soon, uh, Baker Bobcats. Blog away. If you want to know more about Weeblies, uh, my, I mean, Mr. Quinn's digital apps class has created a QR code poster outside Lab 103, and you can use your iPad QR reader to go directly to their websites. They have learned how to add all kinds of things to their websites. They have very professional-looking websites, and hopefully yours can be like that, too. So check it out outside Lab 103.